In this lecture, you're going to learn about custom property binding in Angular and what is the use of at input decorator. In the last lecture, we learned what is a parent component and what is a child component. And we also learned that it is possible to pass data from a parent component class to its child component class. And it is also possible to pass data from a child component class to its parent component class. Now, in this lecture, you're going to learn how to pass data from a parent component class to its child component class. And for that, we use custom property binding. Now, to pass data from a parent component class to its child component class, we use at input decorator. And this is also called as custom property binding because here we bind the custom properties of child component class with the properties or methods of a parent component class. Let's understand this with an example. So in the last lecture, we created these three properties for this filter component. And we are displaying the value of these three properties in the web page. So if I go to the web page, you will notice that after this all courses radio button, we are displaying this value 10. And this value is coming from this property all. So if I go to filter component.html file, here you can see we have binded this the value of this all property here with this string all courses. And that's what you're seeing in the web page. In the same way, after this free courses, we are displaying the value of the property free. So here we have this property free and it is assigned with the value four. And that's what we are displaying in the web page. In the same way, after this premium courses radio button, we are displaying this value six. So this value is coming from this property premium. And we are binding these three properties in the view template. So here we are using the value of this all property. Here we are using the value of this free property. And here we are using the value of this premium property. And these values are being displayed in this bracket in the web page. Now, currently these values are hard coded. So in the component class, in this filter component class, we are hard coding the value of these properties, as you can see here. But what we want is we want to get the value of these properties from this courses component. So inside this courses component, we have this courses array and this array contains all the courses which we are displaying here in the web page. So for this all courses radio button here, we want to display the total number of courses which we have inside this courses array. So inside this courses array, we have total nine courses. So in the web page, after this all courses in the bracket, we want to display nine. Then each course is either a premium course or free course. So you can see each course here has this type property and the value of this type property is either free or premium. So from this courses array, we want to get all those courses whose type is free. And we want to display that number in the web page after this free courses radio button inside this bracket. In the same way, we also want to get the total number of premium courses from this courses array. And we want to display it after this premium courses inside this bracket. So basically, if you see, if I go to the HTML file of this courses component, if I go to the view template of this courses component, you will notice that this filter component is basically the child component of this course component. Okay, so this course component is the parent component for this filter component. And this filter component is the child component for this course component. So here we want to get data from the course component class. Okay, from this courses array. And we want to pass that data to the child component class to this filter component. And we can achieve this using custom property binding. Let's see how to do that. For that, the first thing which we need to do in child component class is that we have to import input from Angular Co. Okay, so this is the first step. Then we have to decorate these properties for which we want to receive data from the parent component class with at input decorator. So for that, we can say at input and then we need to use parenthesis like this. So here, we are decorating this all property with this at input decorator. So that means this all property is now an input property. That means it can receive data from the parent component. Let's do the same thing with 
free and premium property so let's set this you know let's decorate this free property with this at input decorator and in the same way let's also decorate this premium property with this at input decorator let's also set the initial value of these properties to zero all right so this is all we need to do in child component class now let's go to parent component class and inside this parent component class let's create some methods so let's create get total courses method and this method is going to return the total number of courses which we have inside this courses array so for that we can simply use length property on this courses array so here we want to return some value and the value which we want to return is the total number of elements which we have inside this courses array for that on this courses array let's use length property now let's create another method which will return the total number of free courses and let's call it get total free courses and again here also we want to return some value so again let's access this courses array and on this courses array let's use filter method now using this filter method we are going to filter the elements from this courses array whose type is free for that to this filter method let's pass a callback function and here let's use arrow function so let's create a parameter let's call it course and let's use arrow and let's specify a condition and the condition is if course dot type equals free let's copy this text let's paste it here now this filter method will filter elements from this courses array based on this condition so whichever element in this courses array will satisfy this condition those elements will be returned into an array so this filter method is ultimately going to return an array and that array will contain all the elements from this courses array which will satisfy this condition and we want to get the length of that array which this filter method has returned so on this let's use length property so again we are returning the number of elements in the array which this filter method will return and that array will contain only the free courses right in the same way let's create another method and let's call it get total premium courses and here in the condition instead of free let's use this text premium so this time the filter method will return an array which will satisfy this condition that means it is going to return an array which will contain all the premium courses and we want to get its length and we want to return it all right so in the parent component class we have created these three methods now we are going to do custom property binding so let's go to course component.html file and for this app filter we have these three properties this all property free property and premium property and now we are going to bind these properties with these methods which we have created inside the courses component so we are going to bind the property of child component class with the properties or methods of parent component class let's see how to do that so let's go to courses component here and here for this filter component we have this all property so let's get this all property and here we are going to do property binding so let's wrap this within square brackets and inside this we want to bind this all property to this get total courses method okay so whatever value this get total courses method will return that will be assigned to this all property in the same way let me move it to another line so that it will be more readable in the same way let's also bind this free property and let's bind this free property with this get total free courses method and again since we are doing property binding we need to wrap it within square brackets and in the same way let's also bind this premium property and 
let's bind it to get total premium courses method okay and remember that we are doing these changes inside the view template of parent component class okay so this view template is for courses component let's wrap this, this within square brackets with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you will notice that for all courses it is displaying 9 for free courses it is displaying 3 and for premium courses it is displaying 6 so here we have successfully passed data from the course component class to this filter component class that means we pass data from the parent component class to this child component class and we assign the values the data to the properties of the child component class and here since we are binding the custom properties which we have created in the child component here that's why it is also called as custom property binding because here we are binding custom properties all right now it is also possible to provide an alias for these property names so let's say if you don't want to call your property all then you can also provide an alias for that property and you can do that inside this parenthesis of this input decorator so let's say instead of calling it all you want to call it total okay so you can specify an alias name like this now when you specify an alias then you will have to use that alias value you cannot use the property name now if i save the changes if you notice currently we are using all here but here we have provided an alias for this property name so i cannot use all to bind this property here i will have to use the alias name if i don't do that and if i save the changes and if i go to the web page you will see that we have an error okay so here now we need to use the alias name so the alias name is total let's copy that and let's use it here let's save the changes and now the error should be gone and the web page should be working as expected so it is showing the correct values so total nine courses we have it is displaying nine then total three free courses we have it is displaying three and total six premium courses we have and it is displaying six so this is all about custom property binding to achieve custom property binding we use at input decorator and to use at input decorator we need to import input from angular co like we are doing here we are importing this at input from the angular co and then we are decorating all those properties for which we want to receive data from the parent component with this at input decorator this is all from this lecture. If you have any question, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.